can return us. <laughs> Today, we're a bit late for it, we know. But just arrived here since the United Kingdom isn't as united with the European Union as it was before. And we had some issues with import customs. Yep, but it's finally here. We started the show in the English version because the songs were dubbed. Well, we started, actually we started it because it was a lot cheaper than the German version. And the good thing is the songs really are dubbed and the dubbed songs are pretty good. Well, maybe that's kind of because the fabulous Amanda Lee is within the voice cast and most people know her singing, I guess. Yeah, so this is the second season of Studio Mapper's Idol anime. And their revenge tour. Yeah. As you can see, there is the synopsis. Between those two seasons, there was a huge disaster concert, and now they have their revenge tour. Well, basically, first of all, they have really high debts, and they have to try to pay them off and plan their comeback. But to have a comeback, you need to have money. Mm. So it's a little slice of unlife. Or however you want to call it. Um, and yeah, it's kind of funny and wholesome. In the beginning, you're, we were just a little confused why uh, it started so differently since the last season. But it's really good. And the animation quality has increased. Yeah, it's Studio Mapper, so it Where's got better. Where's the Studio Mapper's just always topping itself. It's not top tier like UFO Table, but it's improving. Well, if you compare it to Jujutsu Kaisen, the animation isn't as good, but it's still okay. Uh, the idol scenes and the concerts, yeah, the animation quality could be better, but it's still fine to say it that way. And for comparison, we've got the first season. Yeah. As you can see, the first season we pre-ordered it, so I'm pretty sure there is no O card. It's just a standard box. And this one we've got on sale with the O card included. Yeah. But it was released under Manga UK and this was Crunchyroll already. And um, one funny thing is that the release date of season 2 or Revenge was Halloween 2022. So the 31st of October was the release date, so this kind of fit. I'm just curious about the opening in the second season, because in the first season the opening was also sung by the English voice actresses. Because everything was dubbed. Which is one of our concerns, <clears throat> since it's here written in some big letters, and we didn't find anything about dubbing songs on this box. So if you're curious if it's dubbed again or it's the same as on the stream version, just hit us up and we'll give you the answer as soon as we started watching it on Blu-ray. Um, other difference? No digital copy this time. Yeah, we didn't use it anyway, so that's not that tragic, but if you use it, it's kind of sad. But as I said, we really don't use it. And for all of you who want a consistent picture in your shelves, if you throw away the O cards, then it's pretty consistent, I think. Uh, not really. A bit more, since you've got your best doc right here. Yeah, but the text is off center in both ways. But I am. Uh... Yeah, this is the promotional artwork you see like everywhere for Zombieland Saga Revenge. And I think they took quite their time to uh, release a physical volume of Revenge. The anime is a little older already. So, yeah. But there is a <clears throat> movie, I guess, that was announced. At least another Zombieland Saga project was announced. But it still has no release date, so let's hope 
that it will release soon and our favorite zombie idols will return soon. Until then, let us know, did you enjoy the English dub? Did you watch any other version and enjoyed it more? Or you're true to the subs? Who's your best girl? Except Ty. Because there's no contest. <laughs> <coughs> Until then, have a nice day.